The Vans U.S. Open of Surfing is happening this week up in beautiful Huntington Beach. Joining us now to talk about what to expect is the announcer. Oh, the announcer. I got to get my voice work. The announcer for the World <laughs> Surf League, my man, Chris Co Chris, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Dude, uh, how good of a gig is this? Be honest. I mean, this is fun. Yeah, this is pretty rad. I've been here since Monday. Yeah. And every single day has been sunny. The waves have been pumping and everyone has been surfing incredibly well. So those are all the factors that you want for a successful surfing event. Yeah, we know the event's been going on, like you said, for a few days and the waves. Talk to me about the perfect wave, not for like professional guys doing 10 foot, whatever, but just for like the regular surfer here in San Diego that likes to go out. What does the perfect wave look like? Uh, you know, of course that varies, but I feel like the perfect wave would be somewhere in the chest to head high range, nice and glassy, warm water. Uh, and that's pretty much what we have here today and yesterday. Awesome. So uh, this is a really user friendly place. I mean, Huntington Beach is one of the most consistent waves in the world. Pretty much every single day you can surf. Uh, and on some days, like the uh, previous days of this event, it was Perfect. I mean, oh, professional wow. quality for sure. How big, for people who don't know, how big is this surf contest? This is world famous for those who may not know. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Well, this is known as the world's largest action sports festival as well. So we have a huge surfing event, men and women. They're on the Challenger Series. So basically, this is where you take that step up to the championship tour, which would be considered, you know, the majors in baseball. Sure. But we have all the best surfers in the world down here, a huge field, men and women. We have long borders as well. There's an event called the Vans Duct Tape Invitational that has the best traditional long borders on the planet. So something for everyone down here. And we got the business out here. I mean, this is uh, elite level surfing going on behind me, but on the other side, you've got skateboarding, BMX, a huge oh, festival wow. atmosphere, a store. So it's just a, a city on the beach. Uh, and it's built for fun, so it's a, it's a really good time down yeah, here. Yeah, built for fun and so much more than just the surfing, like you said, but for the weekend. Let's say, you know, finally now it's Friday, people want to head up there from San Diego and enjoy it. What, what can they expect in addition to what you mentioned? But this is great for the whole family, and there's a lot going on. Yeah, so it, it's really something that you can get involved with on a lot of different levels. You know, like I said, you can watch the skateboarding event, which is going to be amazing this weekend. You can actually come down here. They have a whole music setup where the whole family can grab instruments and jam along with the rest of the people on the beach. Uh, you can actually ride surfboards shaped by famous uh, action sports superstars. Uh, so it, it really is a hands-on type of thing. And there's a bunch of beach games going on. You get free prizes. You know, it's it's a it's a really inviting place to come with the whole family yeah. and you know the the people watching is pretty amazing as well uh but i'll tell you friday saturday sunday it is going to be going oh, yeah. off down here if you're going to come come <laughs> early uh parking will be at a premium and the coolest part about it is all these front row seats right here are free Whoa. all you need is a towel a towel the price of admission yeah, is a, towel. a chair yeah I love exactly. it. Uh, okay, drop some names for me. Give me some of the names that we should be looking for and cheering for when we go up there. Well, one of the big names, uh, if you're a San Diego loving type person like I am, is Caitlin Simmers. She comes from Oceanside, California. She actually right. won this event last year. She's still a teenager, and she is even better than she was last wow. year. So she's got a lot of fans cheering for her down here. Oceanside represented well here at the Vans U.S. Open of surfing. And she'll be most likely surfing either later today or tomorrow. And I feel like everybody kind of already knows that she's probably the favorite to win this mm. event. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be really fun to watch what she does. And we still have today, we've got longboarding going on most of the day. Tomorrow, we're going to start getting into the quarterfinals and the finals. So the business end of this event is coming in hot. And uh, this weekend is going to be a really, a really fun time for all of us fans, for the surfers in the water. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some some stress at, at times, but you know this is uh, what they train for all year long. So this is going to be a, a huge weekend of surfing for all of the surfers involved in this event. Yeah, man, it's going to be a good time. You know, I grew up in Irvine. I used to ride my bike all the way to Huntington Beach and then hang out and then come back. But I was a boogie boarder. I could never, I could never, you know, I could never get it done, Chris. I don't know. Hey, do that's it. fine, right? You whatever know? whatever gets you out in the water yeah. and makes you happy. Ride anything. Very, very true. Uh, my man, Chris, uh, enjoy the weekend. Thanks for the time. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. We'll talk